Okay guys, today Detective Mushu here. I'm obviously recording from my camera, so you should do. If you'd like to know the script about myself, which I haven't told yet, uh, go to uh, my channel, which obviously you're viewing now if you like, uh, and go to the about section and it tells uh, you all about Detective Mushu. If you're new to my channel, then obviously please subscribe, comment, and uh, yeah, you might may have the chance to uh, win, win prizes in the rather, say, far future, I'm afraid. I haven't got down to doing that yet, but uh, hey, well, I may, may as well, might as But guys, there's a really important announcement to make now. I didn't get the Deep Tech Vista Mini from the Deep Tech Vista series. I've actually got Conway Tree. Absolutely cannot wait. Guess what? The XP! Golf Max! Power! See that it's absolutely brilliant. Version four, quite a realistic detective. Picks up hammers at a very great depth. Also, we all know because this is going to be the first uh, episode in the series of Detective Mushu's reviews, personal reviews of the Big Cedar XP Gold Max Power. Uh, guys, this is just a depth test related review of how well similarities of coins, coinage, two decimal, both deep decimal. Sorry guys, I, I don't actually have decimal coinage, I'm in testing two decimals, so I'm afraid these decimals are going to have to go for one day now. And, uh, just laying these objects, you can see them, I'm going to test them, see what depth they get. They may go, they may go uh, further from the room itself. And I've actually got something else I'd like to test, which is rather amazing. Now guys, I'm full sensitivity, I can't exactly do it because it'll start chattering a lot. But as you can see here, I've got a very minute pen, I mean, yeah, pin, sorry. And it's an unreasonable, unrealistic depth that gets. Wow. Uh, but guys, yeah, as you can see there, on the Deus Den version, version 4, so it's, it's the Deus Den there. There's the Gold Max. There's the Cup. And then here's the um, control box thing. Yeah, as you can see there, it fits onto the bottom there, but I've actually decided to take it off at the moment. At the moment, should I say. Guys, it's going to be pretty hard. But, yeah, let's turn it on. Brilliant. And then you have to wait five seconds till it gives a double bleep. And then obviously you can start detecting. Before that, it won't pick anything up if you've already started. So, impatience does matter. Uh, the, sorry, patience does ma matter with, the, with this machine. I can't exactly speak very well, but hey, hmm. So I can't exactly speak very well today, but yeah. Uh, there's, we've got the, um, can't exactly see this, but uh, that's the um, ground balancer, accept and reject. There's the iron volume, as you can see there. The um, sensitivity, this key here. Maximum, just chatter it a bit. Here's the frequency shift, that's only for really experienced users, really. And there's the iron threshold, discrimination if you like. And there is a silencer also for experienced user users and there's a headphone jack there, so Yep, brilliant. I bought it from eBay for, for approximately for you three hundred and fifty pounds. No post impacting, we went all the way to um where was it? Anyway, Gloucestershire I believe. Not what it's called, but um yeah, Gloucestershire or Wiltshire was it and it took one hour and thirty five minutes to get there. And one hour and thirty five to get back obviously. Uh, it was definitely worth it really to get in this machine because it's absolutely brilliant. But yeah guys, actually gonna turn it up to maximum at the moment. Actually one notch before max, as you can see there. And you'll be absolutely surprised or amazed by the depth this case you the beast gives. So guys I'll just mount the camera. The book, it picks it up so sensitive, it's unrealistic. But, guys, okay, let's start off with a hammered coin, shall we? See what depth this gives. End on, shall we? That's gonna be brilliant. Eight inches. Guys, other, other uh, additional reviews of this detector will be uh, uploaded in the near future. But guys, uh, you'll have to wait because technically I'm quite inadequate. And so, you'll have to wait, uh, say, 
habe ich gesagt. Twelve inches there. Amazingly. Small silver threepence of the morning variety, I believe. Although twelve in circulation, and so I probably dropped. Dated 1918, George V. Nice silver threepenny bit. Or threepence if you like. Ten inches, brilliant. And a uh, hammered, actually, correctly positioned. Although it's not usually positioned like that in the ground, so uh, guys, this is a realistic condition. Measure. 10 inches, but yeah guys, let's keep it at 8. I tested it end, end on of naturalistic conditions. Ring. Not a hallmark, so probably no piece of junk, but hey ho. Stainless steel probably. Eleven inches with this mighty nine inch coil. I mean my any I'll pick that up but very very hot hardly and uh yeah this one picks up very hardly. But guys this is an absolutely amazing detector for the price really. If you got one for me about three hundred and fifty version four. Guys that is actually a flon in the reign of George V, dated nineteen twenty one of the earlier varieties reign.